Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to use two different types of rulers, an architectural ruler and an engineering ruler to measure parts and features. First we'll use the architectural ruler. The architectural ruler is broken down like most modern rulers into one inch segments. Each one inch segment is broken down further into half inch segments, quarter inch segments, eighth of an inch segments, and sixteenth of an inch segments all along the ruler. In order to measure a part, we would start with our ruler at zero and see where the other end of the part lines up with, in this case, two inches. We would then proceed to measure the entire part to get its overall shape and dimension. From there, we can use our ruler to measure the various features. And in this case, you'd have to count the sixteenths in order to measure this section. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is actually 10 sixteenths, which is 5 eighths. To measure this section, we do the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And this measures eleven sixteenths. By repeating this process for all the various features of the part, we can then create a three view drawing of our project. An engineering ruler is slightly different. The engineering ruler is still divided into one inch segments. However, each one inch segment is divided into one tenth of an inch segment. So there are 10 tenth of an inch segments in each one inch. So when we're measuring our features, when we count each line on a ruler, it represents one tenth. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tenths of an inch. One, two, three, four, five, six tenths. In the same way, we would measure all the various features of our part with our engineering ruler to be able to draw our three view drawing. And that's how we use the two different scales, the engineer scale and the architect scale to measure parts and features. Thank you for watching and have a great day.